A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome back to my channel. In this session, I'm going to be relaying a message for the collective. If you do not resonate with the message, you can opt out from it and you can look for any other message. There are 1000 plus videos on this channel. So take your pick. Let's get started. First, I'm going to check the tone of this channeling session. What is it that the energy stands for? For the collective, I got this new set of tarot cards from Bombay when I was there and I feel because I was there uh, for a sole purpose, I mean it was something that again I had not planned as always, most of my trips are unplanned, they are all spontaneous and I lost a very dear friend at that time. So these cards I bought when already a lot of these messages were coming in and I was having soul interaction also. So these cards are special somehow now the card that is being given to me as the tone of this reading is a beautiful card which is the seven of cups illusions let's see what the oh wow high priestess the high priestess great so one divine card is very positive it overpowers the second one, the first one. Oh my God, the world. Very good. So we have three cards. Actually, both in both the cards, you're going to see the feminine, healed feminine. Healed feminine also means healed masculine. That's my perception. And the world actually means that a lot of the work, like one full cycle of work has already been done. So basically, it had to do with illusions being given by someone else. And I'm being shown over here. What I can gauge from these cards is that somebody was giving you illusions. And when you take your power back, when you take your power back from those people or that one specific person who was creating so much illusion in your life, so much confusion, illusion, and also materialistic possession. So very interesting because, again, I felt like speaking about when I bought these cards. When I bought these cards, I was also personally going through something to do with materialistic versus spiritualistic world and spiritualistic people. So here it seems that the universe has rewarded the person. The universe has rewarded the person who took their power back by not going in for the materialistic illusions and objects. And there are a whole lot of things. As you can see, there is a trophy, there is an award. There is jewelry, there is money, there is also sexual element because of the snake and there is like a property, there are jewels, like a whole bunch of things were probably offered to you or to this person or one of these things were offered to this person, to the spiritual ascensioner. But they chose the right thing and they chose the most ethical thing and thus they avoided themselves from falling into the hands of people who do spiritual bypassing or using materialistic gratification, objects, awards to trap other people or just money, good looks, sexuality. There are so many things, right, in the 3D world. So this seems to be a really cool reading actually because the energy and these two cards, the way they came out, wow, it's just so intense and yet so profound. So when a person takes back their energy from other people, it means that they no longer allow external factors to take control over their life. Let me go through what are the other things that I must share with you all. And for that, I would be using my own set of cards. Voila! It took me such a long time to make so many cards. But I loved this process. Once again, this process was guided by the higher beings, I'm sure. Because such a big set of cards is not easy to create. Okay. They stole your energy, money, confidence. Like that is the first thing they must have done. But what you have done is a powerful act of self-empowerment. And this will have a number of positive impacts on the life of you and other people also surrounding you self-confidence sticking to the plan okay so what you're going through is that first of all you have forgiven them and they can't get what you have 
not in this life at least so you are already in the zone of forgiving them because they don't know what they are doing in life you no longer depend on other people for validation because you believe that god is going to settle the scores for you and you also know like you're 100% sure that you don't need to do anything you don't need to make your hands dirty everything is right here you let go of those things you let go of those people and it's all fine i'm also been given that you are now someone whose energy and vibration has raised and you are having a huge positive impact on the planet on so many other people wherever you're going and if you feel that you're still not there then this is a timeless reading you can come back to it again you can check it again or you can listen to it again and again so that you feel that yes you are definitely supported and guided by the universe even the tarot cards say the same thing all you have to do is take that step take that step and take that risk i'm also been given that the people who play games with you in many cases you are very much aware that they are playing a game with you and yet you don't get attached with those people and you can also play the same games with them without letting it affect your consciousness in a way that you're not doing it in a dirty way for example you know that somebody has a very bad habit of speaking badly about everyone including you especially when that person is not present okay so you can hang out with those people without speaking ill about anyone and just by being an observer just by being a listener in fact not even being a listener just by being there because you're going to be there with those people anyhow or you can also make a bigger shift and not be a part of their discussions do something better do something you love and make them realize make them understand that you no longer are codependent on them in fact this is the energy that you're no longer codependent on such people you don't hang out with such people you don't feel the need like energetically earlier you were drawn to do those things sometimes you even felt that you know you love them that attachment to all those people that codependency is gone as as per what i'm being given here detachment you are feeling a sense of detachment you are feeling you are distant from this person and a lot has changed in this one year like one year it took one year <laughs> completely one year for you to actually fix this whole situation one year back you were a different person now you are a game changer so being someone who was getting played on from being someone who's a game changer this my dear friends is a really cool place to be in the false person slash people are catalyst in your awakening and preparing you for your true love connection wow what a beautiful card so whatever happened in the past whosoever were pulling you towards the illusion you have to let them go in fact as i'm being shown you've already done that but sometimes you might question like why did you even meet them why were you with them what was the reason then i'm being given that they were simply catalyst in your awakening and they are taking you they are actually making you ready without even knowing it they may not know it but you know it that they've taught you so much they've given you so many wonderful lessons that you are now closer you're much closer to your true connection to your real connections to your soul connections so choosing not to expect anything from people who don't respect you and play cheap games with you is is a very healthy way to protect yourself from negative energy because you are also a lover of truth i'm being shown you're a person who loves truth you're a lover of truth and you don't want to take any steps that pulls you down from this place that you have secured for yourself because of your inner work you are also making very healthy boundaries and they want to make peace with you these are the people who now want to make peace with you so it could also be possible that some of these people are going to learn to behave themselves they will be nicer to you or in general they may also get inspired to work on themselves by looking at you or by taking inspiration from you but my dear friends here's a piece of advice 
don't look at their words look at their actions changes take time so just observe and give like good vibes out to everyone who's on this type of a journey you have also learned to communicate to them that uh, in some cases you have realized that you need to stay away like no contact no communication whatsoever with some of those people <laughs> and you've probably made them realize that whatever they've done their behavior is not acceptable but at the same time i was given the card that spiritual life is the best life you have also given out this message to them so two things koso dur bhagna in hindi means to stay really far from these type of people but also giving a message that your lifestyle is the best lifestyle not because you're superior or inferior not because you are doing something which which gives you some kind of an ego but giving out a simple message that life is much better on the other side because you've actually released the ego you've learned to release the ego and ego death looks very difficult in the beginning but by the time it reaches the middle point it gets better and towards the end it's wonderful so you've shown it to them in physical reality that's really really a very big thing to do it's not a joke it's not for people who are looking for easy tasks so this is a very powerful place to be in my dear friends very very powerful because you have actually you have actually taken your power back because you have learned to respect yourself more your self respect quotient has risen a lot you know how to protect yourself from harmful energy from harmful situations from negative energy from negative vibes challenges you've created your own world actually you have created this this universal energy which is required in every ascensioner's life so we all are actually living in our own worlds we are creating our own worlds all the time it might appear like there are 8 billion people on this planet but actually there are 8 billion worlds coinciding with each other and still they are all existing and your world is very peaceful look at your world look at the world look at the things that you have and look at your energy you know this is such a beautiful energy truth truth nakedness of truth this is not the nakedness that cheap people do lustful people do people who gain attention no this is a person who doesn't need attention from anyone because they have their own attention all the time so this is where i'm going to close this session this intuitive reading session for the collective thank you so much for being here with me one love peace out and jai shri ram